praise the Lord. I trust that you are doing well by the grace of God. I want to share something from Psalm 37. At this time, we need to be encouraged and we need to be stand upon God's word. Psalm 37 says the verse 1 that do not fret. Do not fret simply means don't be anxious of evil doers. Nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. The evil doers is COVID-19. We all know. Do not be anxious such a time as you hear about what is happening around us. The natural thing is to be anxious. But God is encouraging us not to be anxious. Say, don't fret because God is in control. No matter what is happening around us, he wants us to be encouraged. The reason why God said don't fret, it means that there's something that will come in our life. And because of those things, the nature thing is to yield to anxiety. But God foresaw all this and spoke in the psalm that don't be anxious because of what is happening to us. So number one thing, God is encouraging us. I'm not saying that it doesn't look frightening. It's not frightening. But God is still encouraging us because he is in control. Secondly, 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 he said, trust in him. The second thing God wants us to do is to trust in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord will keep you stable and do good. And he said that you will dwell in the land. That nothing will cut you off from this land. That no disease will take you off from this land. And feed on his faithfulness. No matter what difficulties that you still meet, God wants you to feed on his faithfulness. He is always faithful. No matter what is happening to us, he hasn't changed his faithfulness system. I want you to continue, and I want all of us to continue to feed on God's faithfulness. Delight also yourself in the Lord. It's very important to make the Lord your delight. Be very happy about the things of God. Let God be del delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. The desires of your heart, and I presume, and I can know, that the desire of everybody's heart in this world now is for this COVID-19 to go away. The desire of the heart of nations is for this COVID-19 to move away. So God is saying that as we delight ourselves in him, he is the only one that has the power to turn it away. He is the only one that has the power to help us in it. He is the only one that has the power to help us in this situation. That is why God is telling us to delight in him. Then, commit our ways to the Lord and also trust also in him. Our commitment to him, our way. Let's give our ways to the Lord. Don't be afraid. Commit your ways to the Lord. We don't know what is going to happen. We don't know what is going to happen after two weeks. But God still wants us to commit our ways unto him. Because he knows tomorrow. He knows next two weeks. He knows next year. He's the one who, is, who has walked through the year to the end of the year. He's the one who can walk to the past and he can also walk into the future. This is Jehovah God. I'm encouraging you that that same God is still the same. He's trustworthy. 
and I want us to trust him and he will bring our desire to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness, the light, and your justice as a noonday. The seven is the last one which I want to encourage you on. This is the time for us to rest in the Lord. It's not easy. The news around us makes every heart restless. But God wants us to rest in him. I'm encouraging you, no matter what news you hear, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him to work his miracle in your life. Brethren, God is still God. When God says rest in me, it means that he has power to solve the problem. It means that he has power to take control over what you are afraid of. What man cannot do, God can do it. Today, I want to encourage all of you to patiently wait for him. For God that we have trusted, God that we have believed, he is asking us to be patient, to patiently wait for him. And we should then see his grace and his faithfulness in our life. I want you to now know that God is about to reach you. No matter wherever you are, in your homes, you are, no, you are not there alone. He said, I will be with you. I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said this so that when you are in need, you can then say, God is my helper. Today, God, Jehovah God, will be our helper. God will be your helper. Very soon, his voice will come. And when God's voice comes, everything will give way. And I want to encourage you, this will not last forever. There is an end, and there will be an end to this situation. Rest in him. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. God bless you. Can we pray? Our gracious Father, we commit our life into your life, your hands. We commit the nations unto you. You've asked us, O oh Lord, to commit our ways unto you. On behalf of the world, what we are not able to solve, we commit it into your hand. The Almighty God, take this world. Touch every situation. Hear the cry of your people. Respond to our cry. Especially the poor nations. Lord, if you don't intervene, what can we do? We pray and we believe that Lord, you will intervene. God, we thank you for everyone. We thank you for every situation that we are in. We know and we are feeding on your faithfulness. You are always faithful. The faithful God. Thank you, God, for this great time. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty hand. Thank you, God, for the assurance that you've given us through your word. Thank you, Lord, that you've assured us that you are always with us. Lord, we cannot take this for granted. We say thank you. There's no words in our heart. We want to say more than thank you, but we don't have enough for it. We say, Lord, thank you. Now, may you bless your people. May you preserve them. May you keep them. May you let your hand rest upon their life. Lord, we pray. That Lord, see us through this situation. Preserve us. We need you at this time. Our grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God rest upon you now and forever. God bless all of you. Amen.